welcome to our next topic on feeding and nutrition and in this particular topic we are going to to learn the importance of feeding and why we need also to focus on nutrition in the goats um, and before we go direct to the, to the composition of feed composition we need that we need first of all to know why we need to to feed the goats and what should we need feed them and the key important why we need to feed the goats is because proper feeding or well-balanced diet in goats improves the growth of the goats, milk production and also the feed, uh, the, milk pro the, the meat production. Also, uh, proper feeding uh, gives the goats proper immunity uh, such that the goats are not able to, uh, to be infected by various diseases. Uh, when we look at the feeding, uh, the feed contains uh, two major components and one of the major component is the dry matter and also the water which takes the largest percentage, almost 80 to, 80, 80 to 85 percent of the, the composition. For the dry matter, we have uh, two categories of the dry matter. We have the organic material or the organic matter uh, and also we have non-organic matter or non-organic compounds. Now what are these uh, organic material? Uh, organic material in our case we have vitamins and vitamins they have uh, various types of vitamins for example we have vitamin A we have vitamin A or what we call retinol uh, we have vitamin B and B there we have vitamin B6, B12. We have carbohydrates. Carbohydrates occurs in various forms. We have sucrose, we have fructose, we have sucrose, we have galactose and many others and this basically they give energy to the animal. We also have the proteins. The proteins um, it occurs in what we call amino acids. Amino acids are the the smallest groups of amino 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 acids, and we have 23 amino acids, and this helps in growth of the muscles uh, in in the animals. So this is also another important aspect, both in milk production and also in meat production. Milk and meat production. We, we also have nitrogen, and nitrogen is one of the key compounds that forms the proteins. So this is very key, and this is from uh, the green materials uh, from the from the feed or the forage. Uh, the other component of the dry matter, the non-organic compounds, these are basically what we call the minerals. Uh, minerals in a, a minerals are taken in very small quantities but this comp but despite being needed in small quantities they are very important and one of the key minerals we have zinc and zinc in this case when we are talking about zinc in animals it occurs in iron form so this what we call zinc ions because it occurs in what we call a queer state uh, in the blood and also in the in the water. So we have another we have copper, which also occurs in uh, iron form. We have copper occurs in iron form. We have calcium, calcium also in iron, and calcium calcium works together with phosphorus. Phosphorus and the two are very key when it comes to bone formation, uh, strengthening of the bones of the animal, and also in uh, in blood. We have another one which is which is minor called selenium, and we have magnesium. All this occurs in uh, ion, ionic form. Uh, every feed that is being given to animal must contain 
all these compounds and this one makes the feed balanced balanced now we, we need also to balance diet when feeding when feeding our goats both does and uh, bucks we sh they should receive 3.5 percent of their total weight this, this one should be the dry matter what we abbreviate as the DM now assuming our goat weight is 50 kilos our 50 kilos so how much of the dry matter will that particular goat receive and we say 3.5 percent of the total weight and this one comes to 1.75 kilos of dm now the dry matter we said the dry matter comp the feed composition contains dry matter and these are components of the dry matter we, we are, later we are going to 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 show some of the feeds that contains the dry matter and also in the percentages of each feed the other component in our feed composition is water 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 takes almost 80 percent of 80 to 85 percent of any dry or any green feed for example then the napier grass the Rusan, Desmodium, which, are, which later we are going to, to highlight and see what they have. Uh, for a goat, a mature goat should receive up almost 10 liters per day of water. So 10 liters of water per day. Now, this particular, this amount of water, it is, depends on the weather. And also the the breed, so the weather, the breed, and also the stage of production. So you realize a lactating doe might tend to take more water than the unlactating uh, goat. So we always recommend that water should be always available for the goat, always available for the goat to take any time the goats need that particular water. Remember water uh, is a universal solvent. What that means that all these particular components will be solved in that water to be available for the, for the animal. So it is important also to consider giving the goat uh, clean water. Animal hygiene is critical uh, in all areas. And when we are feeding our animals, we must ensure that hygiene is paramount. And in this case, when we are feeding our animals, the water should be clean. Cleaning the water troughs. These are the water holding uh, equipment. They must be washed clean uh, daily, if possible, daily. Also the water uh, that is being given to the animal must be clean and the properties of clean water one the water should not have sediments free from sediments two the water should be free from pathogens and for pathogens what we mean these are disease causing organisms also this water should be free from free from heavy metals this includes the lead, the mercury. So hygiene in water is key because water transmits infections to the animal if the water is not as clean as required. The amount, the amount of water the animal is taking, which we said earlier is 10 liters, should be as clean. The 10 liters, and these 10 liters can be even more, 10 liters or less should be clean and as clean as human being can take. So the animals should not be given dirty water to, to, to prevent uh, 
infections.